What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and I wanted to let you know I'm making a Patreon. My Patreon is fresh, new. I haven't even launched it yet. And this is just really for people who want to support me and my channel. These are the first two tiers you're looking at right here out of five. And if you want to see the other three, I'm going to be releasing a full video explaining my Patreon after this. But I know you didn't come here to look at a Patreon clip. You came here to look at a tier list. So let's get right into that. What up, people? This is Nick Ops here, and this is my top four characters in the game tier list. I don't do my tier list like other people. Other people put the picture up and then talk about the character. What I like to do is explain to you what the character can do while showing you the character. So let's get right into it. First character in the game, well, best character in the game, is Garrus. Without a doubt, he is a monster. He does whatever he wants. You have to always play his game, and he's Mr. Crush and Blow. Character literally has everything across his two variations except zoning. But you can't zone him, so it really doesn't matter. First of all, you can't zone him because of that move. He can do this, like, and hit you anywhere from the screen on it. And do that for right there, do that for close, that far away, and you just can't zone him. And if you dare press a button, like, just set the AI back here, you know, just mashing the button. You press any button, boom, Mr. Counter hit. Like, it doesn't matter. What's another counter hit he has? It's right here. Another one. What's another counter hit? Oh, this right here. And most people say this counter hit ain't viable, but like, all you gotta do is charge it all the way up and then hit them. And if they try to hit you before, you can charge it up, just swing. And another crushing blow off of this right here. This is his mix up string, by the way. What this string does is first, this string does so many things, it's just ridiculous. See that right there? Seven frames. So it's a seven frame move. It is a high, but not a big deal because it does so much so off of this one thing right here he can punish you with this right here and then he can just hit confirm into a grab for free damage and if you get mixed and only get hit by the overhead look what do you know another crushing blow literally you can just make a variation and just name this character like crushing blow that's all he is well, not all he is, he's just that and so much more. Now let's go over all these amazing mids he has. He has this right here, an 11 frame good check. He has this right here, where you use this to hit confirm in the combos, like this right here. Something like that, one bar 30% easy. And you can also do dumb stuff like hit confirm into Stuff like that. Because he's Garrus. Like, just dumb stuff. And other good mini has this right here. He can space you out with this, walk back, punish you, and then land this and get the same stuff off of, you know, the easy choke confirms. Just such a good character. Already went over the fact that he can mix you up with um, this right here and the overhead. He can, um, he has an unfuzzyable string. I think it's this right here. Yeah. So unfuzzyable means that if they're trying to react to your 50-50s, you throw a high low out like that, it'll mess up their like reactions. So you just do this and you can mix them up with that too. How are you gonna have um, a move that is meant to mix people up like just naturally if they're trying to react? then have a mix up within that too. He can go high, low, overhead, high, high, low, and then low. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like if you're blocking it. And I don't know like what the person was thinking when they made this character. Like they had to knew that he was gonna get nerfed. Just wanted to give him a good like first month, I guess. But this character is just madness. Like, and if you, if you get this move right here on the ground, 
you can go down one like that because down ones are mega plus they're supposed to be because it's how you take your turn and you know because he can freeze time he can take advantage of the fact that a down one can be mega plus and then just go in get a free grab so you can do something like oh and another thing i forgot his grabs all his grabs lead into a throw loop look at this well both his grabs boom gotta respect me throw him back you gotta respect me. You can do so much stuff off of his grab. You're a perfect range for Garrus to do whatever he wants. He can just body you. Character's just too good, number one, and he definitely needs a nerf. Now that we got Garrus out of the way, let's get on to the next character. I forgot to talk about his fatal blow, so let me explain that real quick. It brings you in anti airs and it's just a very very good fatal blow if he wasn't such an op character maybe this fatal blow wouldn't be so bad but it's just come on you're gonna give him everything and a dumb fatal blow but now let's truly get on to the next character now at number two we have sonya sonya is still playing mkx somebody forgot to tell her this is a new game I don't know what the developers did or whoever made her, but she is not playing MK11 at all. This character still is a 50-50 monster who gets too much damage off of her 50-50s. Now, her main two 50-50s are that and that. But you can really do this because it's still a high-low, so they gotta guess, you know, high in the overhead or high in the low. Like that. And what you can do is... Oh, you got hit overhead? Okay, cool. I'm gonna just do a dumb damage combo now. And that's not even optimal. You can end it with that right there and get 37% if you do the full combo. You can also just be like, okay, my overhead hit. Cool. Vortex time. Guess again. And so mid screen, keep in mind, she does this right here. She gets that right there. Okay, now she can go low if she wants to. So, spin the bar 25%. These are off of 50 50s. Nobody in the game really gets this much damage off of constant 50 50s. She's the only one. And it's just ridiculous. Like, they need to, like, rework her, in my opinion, because she's not even... <laughs> the only way I can think of saying is she's not optimized for MK11. She's just not. She's just a whole different character. Oh, and if you get them to the corner, it's over. But let me explain that in a bit. So let me explain her game plan. She hits you with those 50-50s and checks you with this mid right here. That's all she does. So she's going to... Just do this, or this, and her combos that way. And if you try to poke out, because it start off with a high, she checks you with her very safe forward advance and mid. That's it, that's all she does. And that's all you have to do to play her. Everything else really doesn't matter. Besides the fact she can zone too. So she's only not a character who is dangerous up close, but she's a character who, like, for the most part, doesn't even have to come to you if she doesn't want to. How fast that is. And she can also get, you know, cancels off of them in the corner and get even more damage. She can get upwards to 50% if you cancel right with her. Like, it's just ridiculous. So you can go, or I think it's the high 40. So let's test what she gets without cancels. And let me just show you what she gets in the corner if she lands, like, a regular 50-50. So, okay, you get the overhead. Look at that. Look at that damage right there. Get two of those. And then you just do the up thing. Forty-one percent. One bar off of a 50-50. 
He's just ridiculous. Then if you land this, it's the same thing. But you can only get the launch in the corner off of the low, but still. He gets you to the corner, it's just guess shitty. You guess wrong two times, you're dead. Look at this. It's not even optimized. She's just ridiculous. Like, I don't, I just don't know <laughs> why they made her like this. But I think she's going to get toned down. She just does too much damage. And yeah, that's basically it. Her 50-50s would be fine if she didn't kill you off of them. But anyways, that covers Sonya. Let's get into the next character. The next character we have is Aaron Black. Now, a lot of people think this character is number one. But in my opinion, I think he's number three. He's a very good character. Don't get me wrong, but... I feel like people are just going kind of overboard and just complaining about him a lot when he's not even as broke as Garrus and Sonya. Well, not to be like, hmm. I'm not gonna put it as broke, I'm just gonna say OP. Garrus is the only broke one in the game. Everybody else on this list is just OP. Now, Aaron can get really good damage like that. Look at that. That's a, a basic combo into a mix-up. And look at the life bar. I'm gonna do that one more time. Just keep looking at the life bar. Look at that. Because you landed like one combo. This character, he has it all in a way too, across both of, oh wait. Not both of his variations. The other variation is trash. Like, don't use that one at all. This is the only one you should be using. But this character pretty much plays the game perfectly. He has everything you need and, you know, just has very good tools. This character isn't really ultra OP to me. Like, I think everyone is over-exaggerating, but he is very, very good. Like, I'm not denying that at all. So let's go over what he has. He has very good mids. You can do that right there, confirming the slide, spin the bar, and get, you know, some pressure, or he can mix you up, because if you stay in this, you're taking tick damage. He has this mid right here, just throw that out. It's not one of his best mids, but it's a mid. He has this right here that goes into double overhead, which he can confirm and get a combo off of it. He can do more than that, but that's just a basic combo I'm showing you. you go back into that right there and just get really good damage. He can cancel any one of these at any time into a slide. So you always gotta stay on your toes if he does this. Um, his other good mid is this right here. It's a good check. And if you throw it out right here, get some shots off. Like I said, pretty good. He's just a very solid character. Off of this move right here, he can go into low after. You know, he can cancel it at pretty much any time. There's two overheads in the string, so he can mix it up. And, you know, just stay on the offensive. So this character is just very good. Put you back in the puddle, go for more 50-50s, you know, all that good stuff. He can counter zone very well because of this move right here. It auto parries anything thrown at you. I can't really demonstrate it with Scorpion because his is um matter of fact, let's try it with Scorpion. His is not really a projectile. But let's just see. Oh well, it parries Scorpion stuff too. What do you know? So yeah, it auto parries any projectile thrown your way. He can also use that auto pair for cancels. So he can do stuff like, oh wait, send the block. That right there. Do stuff like that, just throw the opponent off. He can go, stuff like that, you know. It's really, it's really good for like, you know, anything. You can use a mid screen, full screen, and it even has an application up close. Can't really go wrong with it. It's just a good move. 
feel like they're gonna press a button anytime during your cancel, just stand that bar, get the punish. Very good character. And yeah, just really good. He also has really good zoning options. Come back here, shoot them. You can um, go low with it from full screen. You can duck with it and hold it. Just a very good zoning option. And, you know, it has eight shots, run out, reload. And you can also implement that in his setups. Like if you do a combo, get this out, they're gonna be wanting to get out. So you can just aim this and be like, I dare you to move. And then just shoot them. And you know, you got them conditioned and you don't got a lot of shots. You can just, oh, throw this out. You know, they're gonna be scared to move. Throw it out and then start reloading. And it's really good. And yeah, this character is just very perfect. Really no flaws. And that's probably why people want him nerfed so bad. I think he should be nerfed too, to be honest, but not like overboard like the last game. He was very good when the game first came out and then they nerfed him right away. And he didn't become good until like MKXL again. And it was just very annoying to see them like just destroy a character so quickly just because a lot of people were whining. So, yeah. Have we covered it in black? We went over his 50 50s and everything. Oh, this right here. Now, I definitely think that should be now. This shouldn't, he should not get that shot after this. I think that needs to go. But this is a very good mix up. You land two of these get a crush and blow so you can go keep going character is a momentum character and a setup character and a mix-up character he's just so good so that covers Aaron Black pretty much a character that's gonna stop you from doing what you want and play his game now we have Scorpion Scorpion is very good in this game. And it's because one thing alone, teleport. Teleport makes him OP. No other way to put it. All his other tools are really good, but just the fact that he can like be like, at any time I'm in there, is just ridiculous. In the past game, it wasn't that big of a deal because if you dare did that, you were dying. But in this game, punishes aren't that severe. So you can just throw this crap out and be okay. And if you throw, like, if you do that and throw out the second move, you gotta guess what he's gonna do after. He's just a very good character. Now, let's go over his tools. He has very good mids. And you can do this right here to check you. Now, I'm pretty sure his mid wasn't this good in the beta because I remember his mid not keeping you this close. I mean, not pushing you that far away. It's very good that it pushes you that far away. You can just chunk that out and then they're in perfect range for that. That is so good. You can stagger the mid, get a grab. Just a scratch. It's very, very amazing. He also has this mid right here, which he can cancel into that move, keep it safe. He can go low after this, after his mid, but that is unsafe. And he can also stagger it. Even though it's unsafe, people are gonna be too scared of the low to press something after. Scorpion also has a very good 50-50 game. He has a safe overhead and for the most part a safe low. Now he gets really good damage off of Just do that right there. Get the knockdown, keep going in. And side switch with his combos like that. Or just get the knockdown. These are not optimized by the way. This is just to show you like what he can get. Right there. Really nice damage. Good mids. Mix ups. Like, what could you ask for in a character? Perfect character to play if you just want a nice, simple character that just, you know, does what he wants. 
he has um now back on this teleport why this teleport needs to be nerfed in my opinion is because it's just simply too fast like for a game like this this game is more slow than the last game and it's meant to be played more like up close and slower in a way it's not as fast as mkx and you don't get as much damage as mkx so you can't really punish scorpions for doing just stupid stuff like just throwing out the overhead whenever they want so it's kind of too strong it reminds me i know it's not that bad but it reminds me of injustice one scorpion like day one when he had that teleport and it was just you know crazy to deal with i think they should just slow it down and he'll be fine like there's nothing wrong with him having all the stuff he has but that teleport just to compliment it all just makes it too much and i feel like if they tone that down people will stop you know complaining about scorpion and yeah that basically covers scorpion he's just a very good character i got a guide on him if you want to see how to play him like um more optimally but besides that that is my tier list i hope you guys enjoyed i'll make a guide on the other three characters if like y'all in the comment section really want me to all you gotta do is let me know and video if and that covers everyone these are my top four characters in the game as of now um if you don't agree with me that's fine tier lists are just opinions if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and Nick Ops out. And if you want me to make a guide on Aaron, Sonya, or Garrus, just let me know. I haven't really did it yet because I'm seeing if they're going to nerf them. But if you guys really want me to pump out a guide for one of them characters, just let me know. That's what I do here on the channel. I just make guides and post gameplays. You know, just have a good time doing that. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Nick Hops